Today I'm dismantling and reconditioning these tangy or tangy. Oh, however you say that, tangy, tang, tangy. It's a strange English name, but it is English nonetheless. These are tangy hydrolytes, uh, a thirty ton, and I think this is a twenty-five ton. It's got twenty-five ton right now. 20, twenty-five ton. Twenty-five ton. This one says. Oh. 30 tons. They're a cast aluminium construction. Still pretty heavy for aluminium, but I mean it's thick. Thick aluminium. The red one here didn't work. Uh, when you the jacking handle goes in here and you pump you up, this it clicked backwards and forwards. And what it was doing was that this part inside. Hold on. That part, which Goes up and down like that. It pulls the. It goes around the plunger here and pulls it up and down. Like that. Oh yeah. You can see it up. You can see it up. Anyway, it was just. This was locked in there, sight solid, and that. But it was just pinging backwards and forwards over that and not pulling the plunger up and down. What it was was in here or on here. Focus, please. There should be a fibre washer, I think it might be acrylic or nylon But when I put this back on, it no longer fits inside the hole So I took it off And it now fits like it's supposed to Nice and tight, but actually moves And well, it pumps up on here, so I'm going to assume it's going to pump up on hydraulics Ugh. So they're quite interesting in the fact that the entire jack assembly and the pump is all built in the base. So to take it to bits, all you need to do is undo these six uh, bolts, which look like that. Six of them. Get your screwdriver and just tease around the edge and it just pops the top off, which has got a seal around the inside and there's a seal and it just pops straight off the top and bobs your auntie Ah, oh, please bear in mind you need to um, undo the drain hole Well, not the drain hole, this is the fill hole There is a drain hole in the bottom but pour out all the excess oil because this whole chamber fills with oil and it'll make a hell of a mess. And so you can see I've got my shitty towel to absorb the mess. But what I'm going to do is, well, clean all this again and just gasket seal around there, stick the top back on. It's supposed to have a, a fibre gasket, you know, like cardboard or paper gasket, but I'm not spending 90 plus VAT on ordering the seal kit. Right, I don't really need it. Silicon will do the job. It's not pressurised this bit, it just keeps the oil in the oily bit and not spilling it on your floor. And I'll put it back together and see if it works. Good old, Good old brake cleaner. Good for everything, not just brakes. Sometimes I even use it on brakes. It has been known. We'll get some silicon onto that. Right, that's time. I'm not sure I cleaned these bolts a little bit, but they came out okay, so we'll go back and okay. Right, let us reassemble. There's the plunger. Uh. 
Now it's just a case of getting the top seal over the other seal and we have to employ a mallet. Just a small mallet, mind. Like a glove. Let's put some bolts in the bottom. Pull it together. Remember, always start bolts and things by hand because then you know if you cross thread them or not. You want to go in full power, cross thread it, strip all the aluminium out it, and you're left drilling out and helic oil it. Does it chooch? Uh, no, fuck. Okay, after much poking at it, fighting and swearing with it, I think I've actually managed to get the bit back into where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to put it back together, put oil on it, and see if it pops up. Right, let us fill it with oil. Actual proper hydraulic oil. Approximately 700 odd mil. Port, we can see it. Mm -hmm. Five, six, oops. Now I think we'll smell it, cat pee. Well, it doesn't appear to be pissing out the side of it, which is a start. Take that. Here we go. I'll dip stick, fill the whole cover back in. Thing in. Right, make sure it's slackened off, like I said, to let me lubricate the bits inside. That feels better this time actually, it feels like it's going up and down. Put it into the raised position. Throw your things on the floor. Raised position and should. Yay! This time! Oh, I should bear in mind because this is like a 30 ton thing, it pumps up really slowly. Because I suppose when you're lifting 30 tons you want to be fairly accurate. It is, it is coming up. This one doesn't seem to leak as badly as the blue one, which is nice. I imagine there's probably quite a lot here in that. Yeah, there is. There's a top tip for you. If your jack's spongy, like you can press on it and it squeezes up and down, it's the cylinder's got air in it. So you just let it down and you open your open valve all the way up and squeeze all the way down. A little bit more. 
And you hear a gurgle inside. There it goes. Tighten it back up. And pump up again. You might need to do that a few times and that'll get all the air out of the cylinder. And you'll have a nice rock solid. Seems to go up nicer now as well. But, there we go. Tangy, 30 tonne. Well this one is, oh Jesus, it's wet. This one is actually a tow jack. You can put the tow on it so you can lift from here or from here. And get. I can't remember the specification for the tow lifters. I think it's like maybe 12 tonnes. Oh, the bit is missing is the top. Sorry, that bit's supposed to be on here on the top. And that's it, sent that. Like that. But I haven't finished cleaning this top bit in there. It's horrible. Ah, yeah, it goes up nicely. Just pump it down again and make sure we get all the air out. That's better this time, no gurgling. Nice. It's, it's very solidly made. It's your tangy. Ta tangy? 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 20 fun? 20, 20 fun? Yeah, it's a 20 fun. It's all the fun. 25 ton ball jack. Now working. Just needs a bit of a clean in the paint. Good job. Oh, God, I'll get a mess in here.